Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And today we're in Western North Carolina. That's right, we are in West Jefferson to be exact. In Ash County to be even more exact. <laughs> we, we really are. We like being exact. <laughs> and West Jefferson is an awesome little town, what we've seen so far. We can't wait to show it to you guys. Yes, it comes with a lot of hype, so mm -hmm. we didn't know what to expect, but yeah, it's living up to it so far. But yeah. You're gonna see here very shortly. Yes, and some of you guys have suggested we come here. So we hope that all of you enjoy it, that you'll give us a thumbs up, subscribe to both of our channels, Real Appalachia and Real Shane and Melody, yes. and we'll get on the road and show you guys. Yes. Alright, coming into West Jefferson. You're being welcomed to West Jefferson. Mm -hmm. Who'd have thought they'd welcome a couple of old chunks of coal like us? <laughs> well, we're descending in. Mm hmm and looks like a lot of good little stores they got a lot of like um, outdoor furniture like warehouses um, antique stores there's antiques on main antique mall over 1 million items well we definitely be checking out some antique stores oh me? my gosh yeah I'm so excited it's past something called the do drop in so. Ooh, that sounds yeah. nice DEW drop in yeah and Bob's Girl Produce? Is that what that said? I think that's what it said. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's Girl. Well, when I first okay. saw it, yeah. When I, first, yeah. I just wasn't expecting that. Well, I when guess. I first read it, which tells you again, I probably don't need to be behind the wheel, There's is that it, I thought it said Boss Girl. Boss Girl. And it's Bob's Girl. Uh, yeah. Now look at that cute little pink. Uh, Do you need to get to the left lane, I think? I oh, know. Antiques and Vintage. Little pink. Volkswagen. Yeah. Bug. Bug. By the way, punch bug. Yeah. I should have saw that one coming. But I didn't. But you didn't. Did you Slow on the draw today. I didn't sleep well last night. Maybe that's why you're so off. Oh. No, no. I have no good excuse. It's hometown diner. So we'll uh, stop off here in the little downtown area and look around. But first, some history on West Jefferson, which is in Ash County. Population is around 12, 1300, roundabout, and the population has peaked in the last decade or two. So, you know, a lot of towns in Appalachia we see kind of peaked around 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Not the case for these Ash County towns. You know, this is definitely so. looks like a boom town right now, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely so. A lot of progress going on, buildings. I, mean, I don't see an empty building, I don't think. Yeah, and I mean, look at this Presbyterian church on the right side. So it's got some of the history too, and it's booming. So that's always great to see. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Stop. Stop, son. Stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> whole, well, it worked. whole lot of donuts. I got to stop there. Whole lot of donuts, and you got to stop there. I got to stop there, yeah. Or the stop sign. I stopped at a stop sign. I think that needs to be celebrated. Because I was saying, stop, stop, stop. Oh, that stop way. sign, stop, stop. Yeah. Anyways, so West Jefferson was built around the Virginia Carolina Railroad, also known as the Virginia Creeper. Ran from Ash County to Abingdon, of course. We have the Virginia Creeper Trail in of Abingdon. Course and it ran until 1977. West Jefferson was officially incorporated in February of 1915 and the Northwestern Railroad, you know, the part of it was called Virginia Carolina that ran through here, but it was part of Northwestern Railroad and it carried lumber and wood products, which is what built up the commercial aspect of the town. Then they added in freight delivery and passenger travel, like I said, until 1977. In the 1930s, Kraft Cheese came to West Jefferson, and it was at one time the only cheese factory in the whole southeast. Wow. And it's now Ash County Cheese, which is fantastic cheese. If you haven't tried it, you got to. And it's still the only such factory in North Carolina. West Jefferson also had a tobacco warehouse in the 1940s. And then in the 1990s, mid-1990s, West Jefferson started turning to art and tourism to help continue their growth. So, like we said, it's a booming little town. It looks really nice and impressive. So, so you know, do you know what happened in 2022? 
Shane and Melody Cam. Shane and Melody Cam. That's going to be on there. <laughs> Maybe they should make a song. Yeah. Put so, in a historical timeline. West Jefferson is a valley town. It's in a valley. Um, to the east is Mount Jefferson, and to the west is Patty Mountain. Patty Mountain. Patty Mountain. I don't think I've ever heard of that. I don't think I had either. But pretty cool. We'll pretty have to get out cool. and take a look and see. Absolutely. We're going to check a lot of these places out. I'm excited. It looks like a lot like Blowing Rock and uh, I know. Boone. Yep. Certain theme to these growth boom towns in North Carolina. And yeah. History mixed with some uh, outdoor activities. And, and look at these. Oh, post offs to the left. Um, but yeah, look at these beautiful colors in the trees too. They get a little bit more fall looking before we do in Virginia. Yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. We will turn around and take another look. Okay. Alrighty, we had to show a little bit better look at that mural. Mm -hmm. Now it was actually completed by Stephen Shoemaker. Mm -hmm. And it's called The Cut at Devil Stairs. Yep. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, just up the road from the murals, the Blue Ridge Movie Lounge. That's pretty cool. Looks like it's close for renovations, but neat little thing to have down here. My goodness, there's art galleries, antique stores, everything you could want. Food. Oh yeah. We're I wish that start. we could capture the smell for you guys. I know. Since I jumped out. Like caramel, buttery. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like fall, doesn't it? Yes. And so, yeah, the art gallery, that cool teal building. Pretty and Pearls Bridal Prom and Tuxedo Rentals. There's a Mercantile. All kinds of stuff, man. This yeah. is a bustling little downtown area. Oh, it wouldn't be a trip if Melody didn't make a stop. And to do a little shopping, right? Oh, yeah. We gotta enjoy ourselves. Absolutely. How cute. They got really cute stuff. Cute. That's awesome. <laughs> Fall is definitely here in it. Halloween season. I know, I love it. I can tell they're just sparkle in your face. Yeah, I need to copy that at my house. You can do it. Looks I like can a, do it. Looks yeah. like a trash bag and some. Fill it with leaves. And yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. You could do that in five minutes. Yeah. Really cool art gallery in it. Mm -hmm. I love the old farmhouse. Oh, me too. That kind of stuff is just really ripping. Certainly suits the area, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I love art. I like that welcome home. You can see in the windows. Oh, yeah. Looks inviting. Black Jack's Bar. Looks it's like it's hopping. It does, doesn't it? Since it has the best burgers, doesn't it? Mm hmm. So, Bohemian Coffee Shop. Now that's got me right all over. Oh, yeah. We'll be making a stop, I'm sure. So that's oh, yeah. I don't know anything about yeah. Melody. And wine shop and tap room here. Cousin It, the one and only. That's such a new creative idea there, on it. I love that one. Well, we had just had to show this church, West Jefferson Presbyterian Church. Beautiful, isn't it? It is very pretty. Looks like a castle. It does. <laughs> I like how you say castle. You no, know, I got a little excited about it. Didn't I? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. You got awfully excited when you saw a whole lot of donuts, but unfortunately they're closed today, so. Yeah, they are closed. I'm so disappointed. So not only are you not getting a whole lot of them, you're getting none. Sorry. We'll have to come back. We'll have to come back, but here's the Boondocks. Tap room and restaurant. Okay. Hey. On the corner of West Ash and South Jefferson, just to be exact. Well, we just stumbled on some awesome murals back here, didn't we? Yes, I see a little red cardinal. Well, that reminds us of one of our favorite people who watches a lot of our videos sends us cards and every time I see a cardinal now I think about her I think about her you know who you are look how pretty and you tell us to shush so we can't say your name but <laughs> this is the prettiest bathrooms I've ever seen oh is it bathrooms yeah that's what we were just talking about it blooms in good lord <laughs> there's a new meaning to the old phrase your barn doors open have you ever heard that <laughs> I gotta pull it I can't help it very nice. You gotta see. Well, that's kind of the ending of the big forest. Kind of a letdown. Yeah, kind of a letdown. <laughs> this is a gorgeous mural. Oh, 
love it. Little hummingbird, flowers. Beautiful. I mean, we didn't get a shot of the Hobby Barn, did we? I don't think we did. Not the Hobby Lobby, the Not Hobby, Hobby Barn. Awesome. We love because we first loved us. Just gone, 419. This really resonates with me. What, like that? Yeah. It's our takes pretty much for you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The feline's in it, it resonates with you. Uh huh. So, we're going to take a look across the road at the town hall. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Yes. It's like, almost like a honeycomb. Yeah. 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 There's an old theater beside of it. Oh, yeah. Is this a walkway? Yeah. There you go. Ash County Ash cheese. cheese. Not the Cheesecake Factory, just okay. the Cheese Factory. And then we got this cool mural behind us, too. I'm gonna get the top of that. Are you seeing Holiday day. So, we're at the WJ Hardware. We're off of the main street. What do you think the WJ stands for? Um, no clue. Oh, I'm guessing West Jefferson. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I should have known that. I don't know that it's true, but I'm, seems I'm sure it is. <laughs> and then look at that little red barn, West Jefferson Hardware. That's so awesome. I'm sure it is. It's part of it. Duh, Melody. And up on the hill, we got the library. Uh huh. And it looks like a little statue down below there. I think we got a little park. So nice little down here. Yeah, it is. Bustling, like you said today. Uh huh. A lot going on. Now look at that glow in your eyes right there. Snoopy. And Woodstock, don't forget Woodstock. And Woodstock, that's my mom's favorite. Woodstock Snoop is? Snoopy. Snoopy, yeah, I always yeah, like Snoopy too. Snoopy. And the jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, they got it really Snoopy. done well for Halloween and they fall. Have, right they there. decorate a lot, I like it. Yeah, I do too. Not to mention the pumpkins. And... A little sweater weather. Hey there, pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of good choices there that would seem, but I think we're going to roll with flying jacks. What do you think? Yes, it just smells too good to pass up. It smells too good to pass up. We're in the mood for burgers. Mm-hmm. They claim to have the best burgers in town. Let's see. So we ended up going to Black Jacks, right? Mm -hmm. Black what have you got? I got a boot. A boot? A boot-shaped onion, onion pedal, pedal, yeah. And build your own burger. They, the burger smells so good. All right, Shane, do they have the best burgers in town? I haven't tried them all, and I, I gotta be fair, but they gotta be a top contender if they're not at the very top. That I'd was, have to agree. That was a great burger right now. It was. Amazing. Something tells us may have been inspired by Toby Keith. We'll put a boot in your butt. It's the American way. I don't know. <laughs> hey, probably. Well, probably not, but I like the idea of it. <laughs> Let's do it. Right. A little bit closer look at the Ash County cheese. And then right across here is that parkway. It looks like an old theater. Mm -hmm. It looks like they still show movies though. It's coming soon. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. it? Yep. Smile. I remember seeing previews for that, so I know that's a new movie. Cool. That'd be a nice place to go see one, wouldn't it? I know it would. Well, you can't beat that. We got closer to the Ash County cheese, the manufacturing plant. And what do we have? Oh, I love it. We actually have a viewing room here and you can actually see the cheese being made. That is so cool. It doesn't get any better than that. Have you ever seen anybody make cheese? No, I need some samples. Can you see if that, yeah. Give me some samples. I probably would if you asked for some. <laughs> We're going to take a chance. Maybe you want to see the cheese being made. Yes. Oh. Oh. Producing a variety of high quality cheeses. This shift in focus is in large part due to the I think about that episode of Seinfeld where they were watching the surgery and Kramer accidentally dropped the junior man into the guy. <laughs> Good thing there's some glass for Oh, we're coming out here just for this. <laughs> this is very neat. Not well, a lot of cheese being made right at the moment, but hey. You can see the, the cheese rolls back there. It's <laughs> The other thirty percent is made into a variety of yeah, cheeses, yeah. including our line of flavored cheeses. And if I worked here, I would be like that episode of Olive Lucy with the chocolate. I'd be sticking pieces of cheese in my mouth. Delivered to the plant daily. So the cheese store, actually, or a cheese place, has its own store, right? Yeah, the retail factory. 
Well, I'll continue, teacher. Oh, I wish that was going to be Alrighty, we hope you enjoyed this look at West Jefferson. I had a great time here, didn't you? I don't know, it's been such a good day. It's a nice little hidden gem here in Western North Carolina. It sure is. So we hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. You know the drill. And check out that second channel, Real Shane and Melody. That's right. And we'll see you guys on, on down, down the road. road.